Hey guys, I'm Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana. We want to show you something really special right now, a kind of behind the scenes look at the care that goes into our animals. And one of the things that we want to get better at here at Zoo Montana is making sure all of you see what we do on an everyday basis, especially when it comes to the care of our animals. Now, Bruno, we're going to show you a behind the scenes look at some care that we recently gave Bruno our grizzly bear. He actually showed up one day limping. We were kind of concerned. We were monitoring it. Really never got better. So we decided to go ahead and knock him down and take some x-rays. So here's a look at what went down in order to get those x-rays. Now the first thing that we have to do when something like this occurs is we all have to meet as a group and really talk over what is going to happen in this procedure. Because anytime you're working with a live animal, and especially an animal under anesthesia, you want to make it quick and you want to do everything you can under the gun. So you're going to notice us all meeting and then all getting in our places. And right now what you're going to take a look at is this big giant machine coming in this doorway and that's the actual portable x-ray machine in order to get a good look at Bruno's leg. Now the next part is we want to make sure that everybody is comfortable. That's not just the zookeepers, but obviously Bruno as well. So you're going to see Travis, our curator, putting a towel over Bruno's head. What that does is that just makes, first of all, we want to make sure he is under anesthesia. And second of all, it just, in case he should open that eye, we don't want him to be too scared. So that blanket essentially keeps it dark for him and it obviously keeps it safe for us as well. Now, once he is down and his head is covered up and things are looking good and we're ready to rock and roll, that's when the real action really starts. You're going to notice we're taking blood. Obviously, just like when you go for a checkup, you want to check that blood work. So that's number one. Then comes the dental check. While he's down, we're going to do a full body exam and we're going to take a look at his teeth. And you're going to notice, look at how bad his teeth look. That's because of his history. He came to us from a pretty bad situation where the folks had him illegally and were feeding him really bad nutrition things like sugar and suckers and grape soda just ate away those teeth so that's something that we monitor very closely here to make sure he's comfortable you're also going to notice that big tongue coming out of there and as all this is happening I want you to notice all the people we have keepers that are dedicated to doing nothing but watching his breaths to make sure he is breathing okay and that he's not having a reaction to the anesthesia now last thing that we need to do is we need to check the injury whatever it may be. So that's where the x-rays are coming in. Take a look at these x-rays of those bones. Look how cool that looks. Basically what we're doing is taking a look at his joints, his hips, everything to see what's going on inside. And the culprit? Arthritis. Something that we're not too surprised about, something that's very common in these older large carnivores. We're very happy that it's not something worse like bone cancer or something of that sort. The good thing about arthritis, although it's painful, it can be managed. And so the last thing we do is we give him a nice shot to actually calm that, that arthritis down to keep him more comfortable and that's something we will continue to do for the rest of his life. But guys, I thought you really would like to see this behind the scenes look because it really is amazing at the amount of effort and the time and the care and the love that my keepers and our vet team puts in to this all of the animals here at the zoo. Jalo Vet Clinic, they do an incredible job for us, as does Bridger Vet Clinic with their portable x-ray machine. And finally, take a look behind me. We've got Ozzy very excited here. But Bruno, feeling pretty good, up and at it, moving around pretty good. The limp seems to be going down a little bit, so fingers crossed we're managing it just fine. Guys, until next time, I'm Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana.